Hard work don't work. Yeah, that's right. You heard me correctly. Hard work does not work. Now, I know that might go against everything your mom, your dad, your grandma, your school teacher, and even Saturday morning cartoons taught you. But what if there was a better way? What if there was a version 2.0 for how we earn a living and enjoy life? What if for generations we didn't have to get up and go to work every day? What if for generations, instead of putting in 40 hours a week for 40 years and then retiring to live off of 40% of your income, you actually enjoyed life? Instead of being forced into one situation where you're trying to figure out how do I make this 40% stretch? You're able to enjoy life on your own terms. See, hard work doesn't work because hard work gets you 40 hours a week for 40 years and then 40% of your income. Now, if 100% of your income wasn't enough for you to pay the bills, travel the world, and drive a $400,000 car, then what the heck are you supposed to do with 40% a bad hip and medical bills? You see, hard work doesn't work. Now, how many of y'all are thinking, you know what, Ed, sign me up. I want that. 40, 40, 40. Nah, nobody does. But that's what we're all on by default. You see, 90% of the world earns their income by trading 40 hours a week for 40 years, and then they have to figure out how to live off of 40% of their income. Now, most of the people in your life have been preparing you for this 40, 40, 40 plan. Now, they had good intentions, but guess what? There's a better way. What if there was a different set of rules that the wealthy people live by that they've been teaching their children for generations? Would you want to know? Well, you don't really have a choice because tonight I'm going to share that information with you. However, the most important thing you can ask yourself is, would I be willing to apply that information? So on your ride home, while you're driving and looking at the lights, I want you to take a moment to ask yourself, if I was able to change my family's future for generations to come, would I be brave enough to actually take action? This is the question that I want you to ask yourself on the way home tonight. Because hard work does not work. And I personally know hard work. Now, I may not look like it, but I grew up working hard. For 16 years as a child, I worked from the first grade all the way through the 12th grade. And then I graduated and I did what everybody tells you to do. They say if you want to work your way up from a blue collar lifestyle, if you want to be able to go out and, and, and really enjoy life, you got to go to college. So I went to college. I graduated with a 3.4 in engineering. And then guess what? I graduated to more work. And that just don't work for me. Hard work does not work. I didn't get a pension. I didn't get a retirement plan. They didn't give me any golden parachutes. I just graduated to more work. Now that was disappointing. There was no financial location or time freedom. But don't feel sorry for me. That hard work is what helped me crack the code. I told, I told myself that I didn't want to live in a world where we traded 40 hours a week for 40 years and had to live off of 40% of our income because that just don't work. Here's why it doesn't work. You see, hard work is taxing. Hard work weighs on you mentally, physically, and emotionally. Hard work takes away from your kids. Hard work will give you a bad knee, a messed up hip, and carpal tunnel. And that's just what I see when I look around the table at dinner. Hard work is taxing on your relationships. You miss basketball games, football games, band recitals, and so many more things that are important. Hard work just does not work. Not only is hard work taxing, hard work gets taxed. You see, the federal government charges you more if you earn your income by trading hours for dollars. By simply getting up and going to work and earning your income actively, you're being penalized. It sounds like the federal government knows that hard work don't work. And they also incentivize you to not do it. Now, being a business owner and investor, you're able to write off things on your taxes like cell phone bills, travel, gas, food, entertainment. But I never got any of that 
when I was an engineer. I never got any of that as a child. So one time I decided, I'm going to add up all the money that I've paid in taxes for the year. And when I divided that number by my hourly wage, I realized that I worked from January to June just to pay Uncle Sam. Now we got to talk about that because that don't work. I know it don't work for me. Does it work for you? It seems like the federal government is incentivizing us to take advantage of not working hard. As a business owner and investor, I wanted to have everything I had earned. I knew that I was no longer interested in going in and putting in that hard work and then giving it to Uncle Sam by way of taxes. I decided my second week as an engineer that I was gonna take advantage of all of the opportunities that the wealthy had. And the federal government, well they offer at least a 15% discount if you don't earn your money by trading hours for dollars. So I decided that since trading hours for dollars was literally time in my life, that I wanted to get back that 15%. That 15% to be able to go out and enjoy myself. You see, there's a system at work that we all came into by default. But one of the hardest things that you can do is trade hours for dollars. You see, slaves were some of the hardest people working on this planet. And we all know how that turned out for them. Because hard work just doesn't work. Now, I'm Ed Davis, and I'm glad to come and share this information with you guys. But you have to stop trading hours for dollars. We're all limited to the same 24 hours in a day. Which means, the more money you want to make, the more work you have to do. And the less time you have for the things that matter. So you have to copy what the wealthy have done for generations. For generations, 90% of all millionaires have chosen real estate as their form of investment. Why? Because it's infinitely scalable. What does it take for you to come up with an extra thousand hours to trade when many of you are going to pass at least a thousand properties on your way home tonight? You have to learn to leverage everything you can. You have to leverage other people's knowledge, experiences, license, degrees, network, and even money. That's what the owner of the company that you work at does. And they offer you a small wage in exchange for it. See, real estate is an industry that has been proven for generations. And we just want to do what other people have done. We just want to do what has been proven. Now, you also have to make sure that when you put in a little work, you eat off of that work forever. And then when you're done eating, you pass the plate to your kids. And when your kids are done eating, they pass the plate to your grandchildren. And you eat off that plate forever. And so the people with your last name eat off of that plate and that work that you put in yesterday for generations to come. Now you have to stop saving. I know that goes against grandma, right? But saving is for suckers. You see, inflation rises at a minimum of 4% per year. And the bank, well, they'll give you 1% on that money you got sitting there. But guess what? Simple math would tell you that if you're spending four and earning one, well, you're losing 3% every year. Man, saving is for suckers. You have to learn to leverage your credit to access the bank's money so that you can buy rental properties and scale your portfolio up quickly. Now, I know that some of you guys are like, I got to go to work every day. But guess what? You can run a rental property portfolio without having to give up more of your life. Now, I know that building out a team sounds like it can be complicated. But guess what? Real estate is an industry that has already been established. So the realtors, property managers, tax consultants, all of these people, they only get paid when you get paid. That's the kind of business I wanted to run. I wanted a business that didn't require me to take on all of the risk up front. So don't invest in a wheel that you have to determine if it's going to work, but instead go with the most proven path in human history to create and continue to control wealth for generations to come. It's easy. It really is that simple. The question you're going to have to ask yourself is are you willing to unplug from the 40-40-40 plan? You see, I know it goes against everything mom said and dad said, but 
If you're willing to adopt the new plan, it comes with financial freedom, location freedom, and even time freedom. I'm Ed Davis, and I'm a successful real estate investor with over 215 doors of rental properties. I've invested over $19 million into real estate, and I invest in Texas, Florida, and Michigan. And the best thing about all of that is my properties run 100% on autopilot. And that allows me the ability to live life on my terms. I, I retired at the age of 29, and I've helped over 600 people create financial location and time freedom for themselves. But look, I'm not asking you guys to jump in all the way. I'm simply asking you on your drive home tonight, as you're passing those thousand properties, to take a look at yourself and say, am I willing to consider the fact that maybe mom was wrong, maybe dad was wrong, maybe school was wrong, perhaps Sunday, Saturday morning cartoons didn't have all the answers. And if, just perhaps, they weren't right, are you going to be willing to make the change that could change your life and your family's life for generations to come? That has been my message worth spreading. As I said, hard work does not work. And I'm not going to overwork myself tonight. Thank you.